tape interface. The tape interface has been foreseen for transferring to and from cassettes the contents of all the patterns, songs, programmed on Programmer 24. Before carrying out any save operations, for example data transfer on cassette, make sure that the input, line in, or micro on the recorder is connected to the save output of Programmer 24. Before starting the load operation, the data transfer from recorder to Programmer 24. Make sure that the output line out or headphone or monitor is connected to load on Programmer 24. There are three different tape interface functions, save, load, verify. Save. In order to carry out a correct save operation, use the following procedure. 1. Press song. 2. Press function. Save lights up. 3. Select the eventual identification number. See identification number. If only one save operation is carried out, this number will not be necessary. 4. Insert the play and record on the recorder and press function again. 5. On the display, the letter S appears. This indicates that the save operation is underway. The whole operation takes place in approximately 43 seconds. At the end of the operation, the letter S disappears and song stays inserted. Important. During the transmission, the V-meter has to stay at around zero decibels. In some cases, if there are difficulties in recording, it may be necessary to clean or to demagnetize the heads of the recorder. Also, cassettes that are worn out too much might cause problems. It is advisable to carry out a verify operation once the save operation is terminated to make sure that the data are recorded correctly. Verify. This feature has been foreseen in order to allow you to control that the data transferred by the operations save or load are exactly identical to the original ones. The following procedure has to be used. 1. Press song. 2. Press function. 3. Press song repeatedly until obtaining verify. 4. Press function again and insert play on the recorder. On the display, the letter U blinks as long as the comparison goes on. If all data are correct, song stays inserted. If the data do not conform to the original ones, error appears on the display, which stands for error. In this case, you will probably have to repeat the save or load operation. Load. Please keep in mind that during load, the complete pattern or song memory of Programmer 24 is rewritten, and consequently, any eventually existing program will be cancelled. In order to obtain a correct load operation, use the following procedure. 1. Insert song. 2. Insert function. 3. Press song again. Load lights up. 4. Press function. On the display, the letter L appears. Programmer 24 is now ready to receive the data from the cassette. Should you get into this position erroneously, you can leave it by pressing any of the keys of the instrument. At the end of the loading, the letter L disappears from the display and song stays inserted. 5. Note. In order to obtain the loading of a particular series of pattern songs already stored on a certain point of the cassette by save, it will be necessary to get exactly on the respective point of the cassette before starting the load operation. Identification number. This feature permits you to assign a number for recognition to each single save operation. The identification number is formulated by the push button panel 1 through 8 and has to be selected before the data are recorded. Thus, it is possible to store an infinite number of patterns or songs on a single cassette, each one easily to be recognized by means of the identification number assigned before the save operation. The player just has to recall, through load, the required programs from the recorder. Select the respective identification number formulated for save 
before starting the load operation.